at this hour, we learn detectives retracing daddy's steps and we do the same. Why is daddy's every move actually caught on camera? And tonight, we also hone in on mommy's whereabouts when her tot dies. And right now, check your clocks. We're just hours away from a courtroom showdown. Cops retracing daddy's every step. Let's go straight out to show we do the same, following along in the cops' footsteps. Take a listen. Justin Ross Harris left the treehouse, the satellite Home Depot office where he worked as a web developer at approximately 416 on the afternoon of June 18th. This is the route that Harris would have driven as he left his office. Along the route, Harris would have passed through seven traffic lights. Each of those lights appears to have a camera. Suddenly, Harris pulled into the Acres Mills shopping center. He said this was immediately after he realized that his son was in the back seat. Our recreation of this drive took just under four minutes. Okay, we go in the steps of police and retrace daddy's footsteps. We also tonight hone in on mommy's whereabouts when little Cooper dies seemingly in the back of a hot car. First, straight out to you, Haston Willis, reporter with the Marietta Daily Journal. Haston, this ride from the Chick-fil-A to where he parked the car was only one minute and 20 seconds. What do you make of it? Well, it's a short ride if there's no traffic, but that's a very, very busy area. Anytime during the morning people are going to work, it's right there off of the interstate. It may have taken them at least three or four minutes in that time, which is, to me, significant. I agree. Extremely significant. Out to Mike Duffy, who on our staff, went in the steps of the police to retrace Daddy's movements that morning. Mike Duffy, how many stoplights between work and Chick-fil-A um, and other points significant to this case, including the pizza parlor? Yeah, well, Nancy, between the Chick-fil-A and his place of employment, there's exactly one traffic light, but there are many cameras in that area. Now, from his place of employment to the pizza place where he says he tried to resuscitate the boy, there are seven traffic lights and multiple cameras. Okay, what's significant about that? Haston Willis, Marietta Daily Journal, here you go. Here's what we see today. In the last hours, we traced his steps along with police. All of those red lights, Haston Willis, have cameras on them. Do they show Daddy in the back, looking back at his son? Do they possibly catch the boy as he points out one red car after the next? Can it be honed in, NASA style, to determine even if the boy's eyes are open at the time he's driving along to work? All of this matters. The child is awake at Chick-fil-A, Haston. Is he awake when daddy gets out of the car and leaves him to bake? Also, great... at those intersections, Haston, are there other drivers? Tell me about the intersections, Haston Willis. Well, there's, if there's just one, there may not be too much information there. But I'd like to know is the, uh, if he went back there at noon uh, around lunchtime to check on the back seat or to check on the car, if he may have looked in the back seat at that time to look at the child. And Mike Duffy, let's talk about those seven stoplights on the way to the pizza parlor. Yeah, Nancy, this is a very busy area. Um, like we said, there are many cameras. Now they're positioned in a bunch of different angles. There's a shopping mall in the area. There's a transit hub. There are many opportunities for cops to be able to piece together this route and find out exactly what happened that day. And that's not all. Joining us